Hey guys, Mike here with Wilderness Warriors. Um, picked up uh, something today at Walmart that I found thanks to Chris over Prepared Mind uh, 101. Um, I'm always interested in ways to start fires, love setting things on fire, burning debris in the yard, whatever, out camping. Uh, he had these on a video, uh, I don't know, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, something like that. And uh, really liked them, uh, but they weren't available in my store, so they just put them out getting in all the winter stuff. So, um, let me show you here. What we have are the Zip Fire Starters. This is a 12 pack. And uh, these things are individually wrapped in cellophane. And they are kerosene soaked, something or another. Really don't even know what, what material they're made of. Um, they're uh, definitely very kerosene-y, uh, very smelly. This isn't something that I would keep uh, necessarily inside my house. This is out in the garage. I've got uh, vented windows, so I don't mind storing stuff out here. Um, the burn time on it uh, says up to 18 minutes. And uh, these are slightly smaller, I think, than the packages that he had. Um, I think the ones that Chris had were in a, like a foil package where you couldn't really see the material inside and you just set the whole thing on fire. So this is a slightly different packaging. I think his burned for 24 minutes or so. So we're going to see. And uh, just for a little bit of comparison, I'm going to take out a uh, wet fire cube as well. Give me a second. I'm going to go get set up and uh, get back to you. Thank you. All right, guys. We have the wet fire cube. So I've already opened this one and I just put it back in a package. So I'm gonna set that one right there. And the zip pack I'm gonna do right here. camera around a little bit here so again the one on the left is the zip starter and the one on the right the smaller one is the wet fire now right off the one thing that I do notice about that is uh, there is an awful lot of black smoke or darker smoke coming off the uh, the zip starter not really a big deal but um, depending on what you want to use them for that is certainly something I would keep in mind I'm not sure that I would want to start a fire inside my house in a stove or anything I mean I don't guess it's gonna be too bad going up the chimney um, but definitely a lot of black smoke coming off Alright, that uh, wet fire was certainly not impressive. That thing, in all honesty, has been open but inside a Ziploc bag uh, for about a month. Um, and it just went out. And we are only four minutes in. Um, maybe if I would have broken it apart, it might have burned longer. But I know usually those things, when uh, fresh and new, um, will burn for about nine minutes each. So far with the Zip, I am definitely impressed. I mean, that is a super good strong flame wind keeps blowing it around and it's not suffering at all I think that is a very good fire starter even for something where you have to have a flame to get it started a lighter match something like that 
um, it certainly is quick and uh, if it does meet the 18 minute burn time or even 15 minutes that certainly gives you quite a while to uh, get things on your fire and get it prepared before it'll go out. Alright, I'm going to stop the camera and uh, as it gets closer to uh, going down in flames I will uh, get back with you. Thanks. Alright guys, we are at 14 and a half minutes. It's still going, uh, but it is definitely getting weak. But I am uh, fairly impressed. Uh, these things were, I think, $4.95 for or $4.96 for a 12 pack. Um, fairly lightweight, and you get a good eight minutes of burn time that I, outside of absolutely just dousing it with water, I don't think you could put it out by popping stuff on top of it. So, for a general purpose fire starter, for a uh, campfire, even, you know, hiking, backpacking, if you know you don't want to have to mess with babying anything, um, I certainly recommend them. So, 15 minutes, just over 15 minutes, and the flame just went out. So, there you have it. Thanks for tuning in. I uh, hope you learned something or uh, enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and uh, leave comments. Thank you.